in Wimbledon at the moment. Wimbledon, We've got nice shopping mall there. That's a massive shopping mall. It's got Ellis. It's got Ellis, and uh, actually, it's just like Moolis, really. That's like Moolis store. So there are a group of stores in there. So next time I come to Wimbledon, I will show you around most of the shops that you actually see there, little little stores. I see in there. Um, next, uh, and it's the high street of Wimbledon, where it's known for tennis, isn't it? Yeah, tennis. Tennis, tennis the home of tennis. tennis. So you got Starbucks coffee there. <coughs> Starbucks coffee on the high street. A lot of guitar places. Lots of fitness places. Lots of fitness places. So this is the main high street and there are a lot of restaurants and bars actually in Wimbledon here. So I'm not sure about the ethnic group that is um, in this area, but it's a home of tennis. That's what I can say. So, and because they're playing Wimbledon at the moment, so there are a lot of, it would definitely attract a variety of um, People from different parts of the world, tennis lovers. Mm -hmm. If you like them, if you love tennis, this is the place to be, Wimbledon. So put that in your in your diary of places to visit. This Wimbledon. We making our way down to the station. So talking about guitar areas in Wimbledon here, that's um, Leon. Leon. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there are some guys that did some clean. I think they, okay, they're actually putting up a sign there. Kind of dangerous job, but they're doing their thing. Yeah. And this are the station, so you got the, the car stop there. You want the computer caps? And that's Wimbledon Station. I know, it's pretty. <coughs> so here in Wimbledon Station, you have um, underground in the district line, comes to Wimbledon, and you got the overground trains as well. That's Wimbledon Station. So you got tram, underground, and overground station. That's how, yes. That's how, yeah, they have underground and overground at Wimbledon. Yeah. So, yes, underground, overground. That's the station. We're getting back into the station now. Huh? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a station now. We can our way back into London. So um that okay platform Jackson Victoria. I think we managed it platform five and six. But let's try and figure it out first. Destination. Okay, yes, I think that might be the one that we need. Yeah. Okay, back on the station. So uh, we're getting on the overground. Uh, it's going to, yeah, it might be that one, really. Southwestern Railways. <laughs> This is Wimbledon Station. We are on the overground platform, Southwestern Trains. So Wimbledon. That's Wimbledon. That's Wimbledon is in the zone three. Yeah. So if you're traveling on around London, that's a Southwestern train. That's a train going to either Waterloo. Or, um, I don't know, I think. 
Waterloo, my land on bridge. That's a train coming, but I think this one is not stopping here. Grand South Western train. Very long. That's our train now. That's our train now. We're getting up. See? Say. Okay. There you go. So you have to mind the gap when you're getting on the train. Be careful. Okay, you don't follow. You won't fall through the gap. This is Wimbledon. This train is for London Waterloo. The next station is Hurlfield. <laughs> 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 well, that's the session doing that Yes. So what's your... What's your highlight of Wimbledon? <laughs> Um, yeah. My highlight of it, okay, but putting aside spending time with God, I was saying, I like, hmm, I like how pedestrianised it is. Okay. Like, you can see a lot of um, students from like all of us, a lot of international students especially, and like the high street and everything, and like, there's a high street, but there's also like kind of a lot of stuff for like anyone. Cause like you have the library there as well. You know, if you're into that, you have that. If you wanna do normal shopping, you have that. And if you're just there to like eat and like bounce, restaurants are a lot there. Um, I think what stood out to me though is the fact that a lot of the restaurants there's so many there's so many Asian restaurants. Like if what you walked into before you walked into Chinatown, there's like the vast majority. 70% is just Asian restaurants. 